So, hawak-hawak natin yung dalawang kamay. Close hand. And then, let her sniff. Ayan. So, she knows how to play this. So, nakuha niya yun. Alam niyang walang treat doon sa aking uh, kabilang kamay. Ayan. Hi, magandang gabi. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Good evening. How are you? How is everybody? Uh, we are going on live stream uh, both uh, simultaneously on Facebook and on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram, um, hello to you for everybody watching on Instagram. Kamusta po? And also for our Facebook page, how are you, Facebook community? So there you go. So today we're going to be talking about 10 fun ways uh, to keep your dog busy indoors. So what happened to say is, uh, I think it was yesterday, uh, I was invited for uh, Dogs at Home. So it was a fun um, online event for for pet parents and I, I had fun. So um, uh, we discussed about the same topic. At naisip ko, why not share it to our own community here? Community here, sa ano sa dog coach Francis. Okay, so with the ongoing enhanced community quarantine in Luzon and some parts of the Philippines, we have an increased inquiry of dogs showing unwanted behaviors. At sinasabi kanina, this disruption is a lifestyle uh, of both humans and dogs keep us from. Uh, taking our daily long walks at saka iba-ibang mga activities and then we usually just suggest looking for enrichment enrichment games to play with uh, your dog inside your home or backyard okay tapos we have to understand that when dogs don't get enough exercise they start finding their own ways to entertain themselves uh, ending with mischievous behavior Okay, so what we need to do is teach pet parents, okay, to keep their pets busy and engaged. At the learning objective natin for tonight. Ayan, maraming tanong bakit. Ganito yung asa ko. Eh, paano kung ayaw niya ng ganito? Anong gagawin natin? Oh my goodness. I can't, hindi ko na maalala. I can't remember ang daming text ang, ano, ang dumadating sa amin. Paulit-ulit talaga. Okay. And of course, gusto namin silang tulungan, tulungan pero um, kaya siguro natin ginagawa dito. Gusto natin silang tulungan ng libre. Okay? <laughs> tayo naman, mahilig tayo sa libre. O ito na, libre na ha. Makinig, i-share at a comment. Okay? Para, para ma-motivate naman kami gumawa pa ng mas maraming content para sa inyo. One. What is number okay. one? Play the witch hand game. Yeah. Ano ba to? Which hand game? If you check out the photos, ito very simple lang ito, no? So, kukuha lang tayo ng treat natin, tulad nito. Tapos, magtatago kayo dun sa kamay. The objective of the game is for your dog to find out saan hand nakatago ang ating treat. Is it gonna be the left? Or is it gonna be the right? So, yun ang, ang objective nun. Whether your dog tries to nose it, tries to um, uh, to paw it, or kung paano man activity, uh, palagay nyo kung paano nila kukunin. So, kailangan um, mahanap nila yun. And usually, ang ginagawa natin is dalawang hand yan. Parehong meron um, Meron treat. Tapos, nabibuild yung confidence nila. And then, pag nabibuild na yung confidence nila, isang kamay na lang. So, it becomes 50-50. Okay. So, ang ginagawa natin dito, no? So, with uh, the hand game, very simple to. You just let the dog sniff. Normally naman yung mga dog talaga, especially if you're using a 
a uh, really powerful treat. Um, go gusto yun nila to. Okay, nandito si Serena. So let me see if I can just uh, pull up the screen para mapakita natin ng my Siri. Ito na. Bakitin natin siya ng kanyang chair. Ayan. Bababa natin ng konti ang ating camera at imumu natin to. Ayan. So hopefully, kita natin. Kita niyo yung ating treat dito. So, hawak-hawak natin yung dalawang kamay. Close hand, and then let her sniff. Ayan, so she knows how to play this. So nakuha niya yun. Alam niyang walang treat dun sa aking uh, kabilang kamay. Ayan, okay na, okay na. Baba ka na, baba ka na. Baba na. Okay, off na. Baba na, baba. Careful. Ayan, meron tayong special na ano na guest si Serena nandito. All right. So sana nag ano na pakita namin ng mas maayos. Pero yung nga, play the witch hand game. Very easy to teach. All you have to do is find your dog's motivation. Ano ba yung favorite na treat nila? Minsan yung mga ibang dogs, it's it doesn't really have to be a treat. Kailangan lang is yun um uh, kibble nila. Meron mga ibang dogs na ganun. So, enough na yan. Pwede na yan. Um, pwede rin naman, kahit ano, to, ano ba yun, um, yun uh, treat paste, meron kasi mga nabibiling ganun eh, or maybe cheese whiz, pero pag, anong nangyayari kasi pag mahirap uh, na may, medyo sticky or icky, um, kunwari yun, banana, marami kasi ako nakilalang gusto nagbibigyan ng banana. Minsan pag na uh, sm smash na yun ng konti, it's it's ano, a little bit hard to get off. No? Nagiging managkit, nagiging iki siya. So, usually yung mga dry kibbles o mga dry dog treats yung mas magandang gamitin. Okay? All right. There you go. Play the shell game. Yeah. So, it's really easy. Ito, um, alam niyo doon sa, sa peria. Di ba? So, doon sa peria kasi, uh, especially when I was a kid, no? Um, gusto gusto kong bumibisita doon uh, sa mga periyahan sa sa barrio um, kasi I grew up in Tarlac okay I grew up in Tarlac City so meron bumibisita doon I think uh, every February ata ang ang fiesta doon I don't remember really pero tuwing meron fiesta pupunta kami doon it's like you know being a kid uh, you get to see all those lights all those sounds uh, sights ni mga games um ano isa to sa mga masarap laruin pero i think may daya ata yung ilan no so dito hindi natin dadayahin yung aso na uh, matatalo sila actually gusto pa nga natin na nananalo sila di ba so ang gagawin natin is so umpisa at an trick okay kung successful kayo doon sa game number 1 meaning ready sila dito sa number 2 Okay, with our shell game. Ang recommendation ko, para sa mga aso na hindi pa sanay na maghanap ng mga bagay-bagay using their nose, um, gawin yung madali. The three cups contain treats. Para magkaroon sila ng positive association na, uy, kahit pag pumili ako ng cup, mananalo ako. So it becomes addicting for them. So sabi nga doon sa, in any game nga pala ha, and in, in anything that we're teaching our dogs, meron tayong tinatawag na parang the slot machine effect. Yung parang beginner's luck na lagi kang panalo and then you get addicted to it. Na parang, hey, I won. Beginner's luck. I'll try that again. Pag nanalo ka, I'll try that again. And then before you know it, you have then developed a habit. Ayan na. Because you get rewarded. And then, yan na yan. Parang... You're longing for the jackpot. Gusto mo manalo ko ng jackpot kahit na natatalo ka na. Pero it becomes fun for you kasi positive na yung association. So it becomes addicting. So magandang laruin ito. Um, pag nasanay na sila na tatlo yung cups na gamit-gamit, kagawin nyo na ngayon, dalawa na lang yung may laman. After that, pag dalawa na lang, isa na lang naman yung laman. So it becomes uh, ano, one out of three. Odds. 
So, which is fair. And then that's the when the real fun okay happens. Ito na talagang masaya. Okay? So, um nilalaro namin to. Ito nang isip ko kasi to, madaling maghanap ng kahit anong container sa bahay eh. Basta tatlo lang, tatlo lang na pare-parehas. I-video nyo, it's gonna be fun. Um uh viral photos of dogs and videos na nilalaro ito is always fun to see. Pag nakakita ko nito, I always spend a few minutes or a few seconds watching it. So, try nyo ito, no? Upload nyo sa Facebook nyo or sa Instagram and I'm pretty sure you'll bring smiles to a lot of people's faces. So, it's really fun. And, ano ito, um, minsan yung mga ibang dogs talaga, they try to really focus kung saan pupunta yun, uh, yung tree. And mind you, ang maganda din dito kasi mabilis ang mata ng aso. So, um, yung frame rates nila mas, mabil- mas mataas kesa sa atin. Sa atin kasi minimum is 15 frames per second. Hindi na, uh, nagpe-flicker pa ng konti. Pero if you move a little bit higher, especially at 24 uh, frames per second, usually hindi na may exact 24, 23.95 ata yun, or 24 frames per second sa mga pinapanood natin ng mga movie, yan, 24 frames per second yan, hindi natin nakikita kasi mabagal lang refresh rate ng mata natin. No? So sa dogs, baka nakikita pa nila yan, so na, na monitor pa nila yan na slow motion. So it's really fun and it's just really amazing watching a dog uh, do this. Okay, um, trick. Okay, so. Okay, down sa ating slide. Okay, habang binubos ko yung slide natin, um, para sa mga bagong dating, we are giving away a leash. Comment lang po. Like and share. If you're watching us on Instagram, you can also watch us uh, live on our uh, Facebook page and then by watching through our Facebook page you have a chance to win a doggy leather leash all you have to do is like our page comment and then share okay share niyo sa mga ibang dog groups na kasama kayo para mas makita nila and we'd be able to um, reach more people that way okay where's my slide How is everybody doing today or tonight? How was your day? How was everybody's day? Yeah, oh my goodness. Teka lang, ayaw magpakita ng ating slide. Tinago ko kasi sa ating... We need to... There you go. You need to exit and then open the slide again. Yeah. Okay. So let me just open the file again. All right. A male comment dito si, si Darlene. Ayan. So sabi niya, dapat pala all three muna may laman. Yes. Sa umpisa, meron kasi mga ibang dogs, uh, Darlene, na um, even with just one, um, they're motivated to look and find. Yung nga lang sa method kasi na um, uh, ginagawa natin is we always set the dog up for success. So, para sa akin, mas okay yun, mas rewarding. Sabi ni Love Kindle PH sa Instagram, do we share the page or the live video? Oh, you have to share the live video po. Okay, para mag-qualify kayo sa ating uh, pa-contest. Yeah. Okay. Meron pa konti si Coach. Okay. I opened the slide na. And we're just gonna go full screen para makita natin. And I'm gonna share again. Yan. Ako. You know what? I've been seeing a lot of people doing uh, live streaming na. Uh, ang daming shows na lumalabas. So, uh, it's really wonderful, no? The power of technology. Dati, walang ganito. No? Okay, it was super hard to 
to even stage or it, it's impossible to stage something like this now because of uh, technology, it's now easy. Okay. All right. So moving on. Are you ready? Number three. Tama? Number three na tayo. Number three. Play a game of find the treats in boxes or hidden cups. Ito, meron tayong ginawang video for this one. Um, I think Darlene, you know, comment kanina. She already did this, pero it's just one box. So, good job. Nakita ko yung video kanina. Um, na sinend sa akin. Ano yan? Um, isang box pa lang, pero that's already a step. So, pag nasimulan nyo na sa isang box, then you can add two boxes and then three boxes. Tapos pwede nyo ng sarado. And then you then have a treat-seeking dog. Ayan. Diba? So, mga dogs natin, panoorin nyo. So, nasa... Uh, nasa Instagram at saka sa Facebook page din natin, sinir natin dyan, How to Find Hidden Treats. Okay? Naman yung title, I think. So, eto, we're just uh, modifying this a little bit. Play a game of finding the treats um, hidden in boxes or cups. Yung mga boxes mismo yung nakatago. Yung mga treats mismo ang uh, nga nasa cup, itatago nyo yung sa isang corner. See if uh, your dog would um, look for it. Okay. Um, sa umpisa, ang pwede natin gawin dito, kasi iniisip ko palagi, paano pag hindi sana yung aso eh. At hindi sila ganun ka-motivated. Siguro sa isang room, magkakapit na kayo doon ng isang cup. Yung paborito nila. Let them find it out na parang, oy, meron palang treat dito. So yung same cup na yun, yun ang palagi nyo gagamitin. Na in every room, oy, meron palang nakatagong treat dito. Diba? So parang, oh, surprise! It's like an Easter egg hunt for the dogs na hindi nila alam meron pala doon. So, nasasanay sila, their do the doggies knows um, gets activated na parang pagpasok pa lang nila, hindi nila nare-realize, hinahanap na pala nila yun. No? So, um, the first three games na nilalaro natin, it has something to do with the nose of the dog. Kasi nga, dogs have a... Kung sa tao, ito ha, um, correct me if I'm wrong, mga 5,000, 5 million scent receptors sa tao. Sa so dogs naman, it's three times of that, four times of that. Ang mga pinakamalalakas na scenting ability is nasa mga hound breeds because they were bred to focus on their nose. So, hindi po totoo na pag uh, yung aso, automatic alam nila yan. Sometimes, they don't know how to use that uh, scenting ability. So, you have to really teach it. Okay. So yan, ang gagawin lang natin dito is we just leave cups and boxes open na meron treat. Make it easy for them. And then eventually, pwede nyo nang itago as your dog gets better. Itatago nyo na yun. Let them find the treats themselves. Okay, si Skit, ang aming uh, beagle, vacuum cleaner yan ng treats. So minsan hindi namin namamalaya na she is after those treats. Ang papansin namin, she's looking into... Uh, open crates, she's looking underneath the sofa. Kahit na saan, malalaman na lang namin, oh, meron palang nahulog na treats doon. And then, um, Skit is able to sniff it out and even look, really look hard for it. Yan, napakagaling. Teka, uh, basahin nga natin yung, ano, post natin yung sinabi ni Dar uh, post ni Darlene. Maraming boxes yung coach, kaya lang Kendra began playing with the treats because I placed big cuts. Wrong move. Her puppy teeth couldn't handle. <laughs> okay. Magandang gawin dyan when you're using the boxes. Konti lang muna. Okay? Tapos pag uh, lagay ng treats, nakita na nila yon. you can now hold the box, let them take the treats. Pero, so you need to protect the boxes then from damage. Okay? So, ano, very important na, syempre, gusto natin magamit natin yung box nung paulit-ulit. Mahalong kahon, ha? If you think about it, buti meron pa yung kahon na malaking ganun, okay? Uh, sa video na ginamit natin, which was uploaded on YouTube, ang ginamit natin dun is mga shoeboxes. Alright. So, there you go. Um, so, si Darlene, nag-share na siya via watch party. Thank you. So, for everybody else, make sure that you um, share as well. Okay. Sunod, number four, use a stuffed Kong to keep your dog entertained. Ayan. You know what? This is 
probably I'm not um, endorsing this particular brand of uh, dog toy, pero this is uh, probably one of the sturdiest dog toys that you can purchase. Siempre sa ngayon, medyo mahirap maghagilap. Even before nga, medyo mahirap na maghanap eh. And it can be a little bit pricey, pero you actually really get what you pay for. Kasi these are almost indestructible. Okay? Yung pink is usually allotted for the, the puppy teeth kasi mas malambot ng kaunti. The red one is your standard. And then the black Kongs are for those extreme biters. Like our uh, Belgian Malinois here. Na grabe magkagat. So we usually give him the the black one or for the ex extreme chewers. Ayan. So, sabi ni Dirty, teka lang. Yung mga comment, no? Gusto kong pinopost para makita niyo rin kung ano yung mga pinagsasabi ng ating mga... Uh, Followers, uh, galing sa SNR kasi I didn't want to use the info pass that I need to sanitize pa. There you go. Yeah, that, that works. Kaya open yung boxes nyo, di ba? If you purchase in SNR, open yung top nyo. So once your once scanner gets better, pwede yung mga nakaklose na. Okay, so dito sa Kong, ang maganda dito kasi you can stuff a lot of uh, treats inside. Tapos, you can also cement it with peanut butter. And then also um, cheese, okay, in liquid cheese. But we begin with our brand. See, we begin with brand. Cheese whiz, okay, mga uh, cheesy, yeah, okay. Ma dali lang naman bilhin yan. So, pag bumibili ako ng cheesy or ng cheese whiz, actually hati kami yan. Kalahati sa akin, tapos ng kalahati don sa dogs. <laughs> Ayaw, mahilig din naman kami sa cheese. Okay, so don sa loob nun. Um, what you're doing is you're going to um, spread uh, thin layers of uh, cheese whiz or, or peanut butter. Tapos you can throw in treats. Tapos add another layer of peanut butter, and then pwede nyo rin itong ilagay sa freezer overnight. Okay. So pag nilagay nyo ngayon sa freezer overnight, ang nangyayari ngayon is it becomes a parang uh, Iced Kong again. So this is really wonderful, especially now. It's summer here in the Philippines. So mainit, no? So it's not really, really summer. Pero sabi nga ng pag-asa, dalawa lang ng season natin, tag-init uh, tag o kaya tag-ulan. So ngayon, tag-init, um, this would really help keep your dogs cool down. So maybe you can even do some, put in some uh, popsicles inside. So I don't know. You can be creative. You can put in anything you want. Even yung mga nabibiling commercial dog treats. Pwede yung ikabit yan. Lagyan yung palagi ng peanut butter or ng cheese whiz. Okay? Yan. Favorite yan ng dog. Okay? For everybody watching on Instagram, hello! Okay? So uh, if you're watching this on Instagram, it's a little bit cropped. If you want to see the whole presentation, you need to log in to Facebook and then Look for Dog Coach Francis and nagbibigay din tayo ng uh, opportunity, a chance to win a leather leash on Facebook. So, di pa kayo doon, okay? Pero, um, there you go. Oily Kelly, hello. Good evening. Tessa Ortega, hello. And Gina Botor just joined, hello. Good evening to you, uh, ladies, and uh, for everybody everybody else who just joined us. Okay, ready na ba kayo? Punta tayo sa number five. If you have questions anytime during the presentation, sumagot kayo. Okay? Sumagot. Magtanong kayo. Ayan. Mas maganda yung nag-uusap-usap tayo. Tapos, if, uh, if you want to join, teka, papost ba natin? Sige. If you want to join later into the program, so if you want to speak to me face-to-face -face, online, okay, uh, share natin yung link. So, para makita rin namin kayo. Okay? We'll be inviting people to go uh, online. Okay? If, especially if you have questions. Alright. So, number five, a game of tug of war. Para dun sa mga aso na ayaw ng, hindi masyado food motivated. Come on. We've trained hundreds, even a thousand dogs uh, for the past 10 years. 
Um, hindi lahat ng aso food motivated. Meron mga dyan, hindi naman sa tamad, they just don't like to, or maybe they're afraid. Or maybe they just really don't have the confidence, uh, they were born that way. So, um, pero mataas naman ang kanilang ball drive, or mataas ang kanilang play drive. So, a game of tug would probably work best. Okay, so maganda dito is if you can also teach your dog, leave it. So, the control is very important. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin doon is you're going to bring out a toy. Tapos, you're going to just, just like, you know, um, play with them. Try to see if they can get interested. Once they get interested, what you're going to do next is try to make it a little bit harder. Harder and harder is trying to catch the ball. Pero pinapahabol nyo ito. Mali kung ibibigay nyo lang. Tapos, expect the dog to, um, to just bite and tug the kagat. No, no. Ang kailangan dyan is to really make it fun for them. You need to really engage. Kung medyo tatamad-tamad yung dog nyo, try to hype it up a little bit. Okay? So, ganon. So, um, next up is... So, yun dun sa, sa tug of war nga pala. Mapapansin nyo dito sa ating photo. Lakihan natin ang konti. So, dito sa ating photo, um, meron parang tali dun sa tug of war natin. So you jump sa tali na yan, it's actually a toy attached to a rope and then on to a pole. Okay, pakita natin. Meron tayong DIY. Ayan. Okay. This is a DIY third pole for dogs. So papansin natin dyan, at the end of uh, the rope, okay, is their dog toy. So whether that's a doggy rope or their favorite stuff toy or, um, favorite chew toy, tatalin nyo dyan, and then it goes into a PVC pipe. Coach, mahirap ang ganun ng PVC pipe na yun. Then, you can use any uh, stick that you can find available sa bahay. Tapos, tatalin nyo lang din yan doon sa stick na yun or sa PVC pipe para meron kayong leverage. Okay? Tapos, um, doon sa tape, Para alam nyo lang kung anong end yan. Tsaka, konting design. So, you have more grip. Tapos, um, when you're playing this, all you have to do is just like with cats, you're just gonna flirt it. Okay, kaya nga tinawag ng flirt ball. So, at, this is the doggy version for the cat flirt ball. Okay? So, um, just a quick disclaimer. Okay? Um, you only play this. You only play this. When you are supervising your dog. Siyempre, mahirap rin naman maglaro na sila na mag-isa nito. Okay? So, okay, I got distracted. Eh. Okay, sige. Galing. Okay, I got distracted. <coughs> Kumakatok kasi yung, yung isang dog dun sa door. Okay, so yan. So, yan lang po yung kailangan natin gawin. So, try this out. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fun. Okay, number six, teach your dog a new trick. Ito, you have to watch a lot of videos na lang siguro mamili kayo ng mga YouTube videos. Papasokin mo naman. Ayan. Irene is with us in the uh, in our office ngayon. Baka narinig niya siya sa background. Pero, you want to say hi? Hi! There you go. There you go. So, saying, saying hi. Okay. So, pero meron kumakatok dun sa door. Um, I think that's Stella. Gusto niya pumasok sa office. Okay. So, number six. Uh, Feature dog a new trick. Nandali lang to, maybe a high five, maybe anything that you'd like to teach your dog. We'll be uploading more uh, ways, more how-tos to help you uh, teach your dog a new, uh, a new trick soon, okay? So, uh, abangan nyo lang yan. Make sure that you follow um, and subscribe doon sa YouTube channel natin and then click the notification icon kasi doon namin muna ina-upload. Okay, tapos after a few days, in upload din natin sa Facebook. Okay? Next is uh, number seven, play a game of hide and seek. If you haven't tried it, then you're missing a lot. I have done this uh, a lot of times with Serena, with Stella. Actually, most of our dogs, sinubukan na namin to. So, and then we even put in cameras in place just to see their reaction. 
and the doggy reactions are priceless. So maganda talaga na subukan natin laruin itong game nito. It's a hide and seek, usually dun sa mga door. Okay? Usually dun sa door. And then, syempre, you need to call on to your dog. Okay? So, para alam nila na para oh, tinatawag ko ni mami, tinatawag ko ni daddy. Tapos, you have the camera in place and uh, the doggy faces are just hilarious. It's just really wonderful. Meron mga ibang dog na parang, I don't care. Hindi ko hanapin si daddy. Meron mga mga ibang dog na parang they're so excited. Maybe uh, you have a treat on hand then to just spice things up. Para meron extra reward. Okay? Uh, meron palang tanong dito si Stephanie Lorenzo. And she asks, Coach, what can you suggest as a substitute tug toy? Um, meron kasi mga old rags. You can use that. Pero... Um, anything that is sturdy that your dogs like, that they won't choke on it. So, pwede nyo gawin yun na tug toy. Okay? So, thank you for uh, asking that question and for joining us tonight. All right. So, claro ba dito? If you have any questions with the presentation, please comment away. Okay? And number eight, play a game of fetch. This is a no-brainer. If your dog loves to chase a ball, then just play ball. Okay. Uh, ang maganda dito is sana nire-retrieve nila. Okay. Sana sinosole. So, um, just a few troubleshooting. Kung hindi sila magilig sa bola, find something else na pwede yung pa-fetch na favorite nila. Maybe they're fav they have a favorite toy. So, you let them find it. Or you let you show it to them, um, wiggle it a little bit, try to entice them, and then throw it. Pero wag mo nang malayo. Mas maganda doon sa uh, arms reach muna. Tapos, Pag medyo nasanay na sila, then you can start throwing it a little bit farther. Ang isa pa technique na ginagawa ko dyan is nilalagyan ko ng piece of string. Para pag ginagis ko ng mas malayo and they don't take it, I can actually just reel it in, okay, like a fish. And then I can uh, re-engage the dog. Meron naman mga dog na hindi sinusoli talaga. They would go for it, pero hindi na sinusoli. That's actually a different um, behavior, which is a cum. Ibig sabihin, you need to work on the come command. Okay. Paano yung tinuturo yung come? Well, just have a treat ready and then call your dog. If they come to you, give them a treat. Okay. So if you want to teach your dog to do a fetch, uh, actually, tatlo yan. I can break it down to three um, three behaviors. One is to chase the, the ball or the toy. Pangalawa naman is... Um, to pick it up, and then the third is to give it back to you or parang come to you when called. Meron pa yung pang-apat, they need to also let go, di ba? If you really want to be so technical about it. Pero siguro ganun, um, try to start with the come and then make sure that the dog is interested with the toy. And then um, yung reward kasi pag sinolin nila is you can throw it again. Or they you, they can exchange it with a treat, yeah. Yun yung mga usual troubleshooting. Okay, pero and then another thing, if you have a dog uh, bred to retrieve, then mas madali. Okay, like the gold retrievers or Labrador retrievers, yan mas madali yan. Okay, in number nine, malapit na tayo. Ten lang to ha, ten lang to. So kapit lang. So do it yourself obstacle course. So sa do it yourself kahit na ano na pwede yung gawin na obstacle course. Just like with the photo, we have a ladder laying flat on the ground. This teaches your dog um, how to control their mobility slowly and then be um, in tune with the surroundings. Hindi yung takbo lang sila ng takbo out of control. So uh, this is a really good exercise as well. Um, so they learn how to control control their limbs. Okay, Each leg tatapak kasi nila yan. So, uh, I've done this before and it works wonders for the dogs uh, to be just fully aware of their body. Okay? And then um, you can also lay down uh, toilet paper. You can also use foil. Kung hindi sila sanay dun sa mga foils or mga shiny objects or mga objects na creates a lot, a lot of noise, pwede nyo silang sanay dun at tumapak sila doon. You know what? Dogs learn a great deal from their nose. Pero wag natin kalimutan, they also learn 
by feeling using their paws. So that's very important. Okay. And at number 10, at the Suguri Pinakamadale, Netflix and Treat. So you can just watch your favorite Netflix uh, show, like, um, ano ba? Uh, ano bang paborito yung Korean novella? Um, hindi ko pa natatapos yun. Uh, ano ba yan? Yung dun sa my hotel? Yan? Yeah. Ano? Hotel de Luna. Hotel de Luna. I think that's really interesting, pero hindi ko pa natapos. So para sa mga Korean novella fans there, uh, so every time that you're just there, your dog is relaxed, give them a treat, okay? Maybe they, you can also watch a dog movie, okay? With your dog and then, or maybe ang ginagawa din namin minsan, we, we play howling dogs on YouTube in front of the big screen and then we just reward them for watching the TV and then seeing those bright images. So, uh, napansin namin, mas malaki pala yung TV mo, mas mataas yung chance na manood yung dog mo. Okay? So, kung meron kayong malaking TV, gamitin nyo yun. Okay? Malit lang yung TV namin eh. Okay? So, baka meron kayo talaga malaking TV, gamitin nyo. Maybe your dog would be watching and dogs usually love it. Manood kayo ng mga uh, wild animals. Dogs love that. Okay? Or yung Netflix lang talaga. And then, give them treats. Okay? Or just watching and then looking and observing um, it's really wonderful, okay? Nakaka-amaze na nakakita ng mga dog na nanonood ng TV because they, some of them look so um, curious and then uh, the expressions are authentic. So there. So yan ang ating sampung mga bagay na pwedeng gawin uh, to keep your dog busy, Okay. So I'm just rewinding, but just to recap everything, that will be one, play the witch hand game, two, play the shell game, three, play a game of find the treats in boxes or hidden cups. And number three, or four, use a stuffed Kong to keep your dog entertained. Next is play a game of tug of war. And here's a photo of the DIY third poll, which you can do. Six, teach your dog a new trick. Play a game of hide and seek. Play a game of fetch. Do it yourself, obstacle course. Just use your imagination. And lastly, Netflix and treat. There you go. Now it's time for the questions. So, do you have any questions with the presentation? Uh, we're going to be ending the live stream soon. So, if you haven't shared it yet, Now's the best time to share, guys. Okay. Tapos, um, let, does anybody want to go live on uh, on our stream? Try natin. Try natin. Here you go. I'm going to be putting that on our chat box. There you go. So you can probably see the chat box. Okay, so try to join. See, yeah. See if you can join our uh, chat. Kailangan nyo lang is you click yon stream and then uh, you can join us. Okay. Teka, meron comment si Darlene. Eh? Very active si Darlene. You know what? You know what, guys? Si Darlene is magaling na host. Though. Actually, she is a uh, wedding host. Um, Dun sa wedding namin and invite ka namin Darlene to go live next time. Let, let's talk about what you do, okay? And what are your perspective going forward after the COVID-19 uh, lockdown? Okay, pero let's read what she wrote. Um, I will try the obstacle course so far. Maru and Kendra are making Alec my bulldog as their obstacle. <laughs> they keep jumping over. <laughs> that would work. That would work. <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny. I love it. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing, darling. Thank you for participating for tonight's live stream. Okay. We have a comment uh, with Andrew. Andrew is asking, is it easy to clean the Kong after putting peanut butter? You have to really scrub it in. Um, that's why I recommend thin layers. Lang. 
Kasi kung kinapalan nyo yan, tapos tumigas siya, mahirap linisin. And you might probably need to use a bottle, uh, baby bottle cleaner. Um, pero generally, madali na naman. Uh, and then, ayun, sabi ni Irene dito is, warm water will help yan. Kasi siya yung naglilinis din ng kong ng dogs minsan. Okay. So, thank you for asking, Andrew. Pero try nyo, okay? Hit a butter, okay? Kung gusto nyo mas madali, actually, from experience, pati yung mga cheese, pag tumigas yun at napabayaan nyo, mahirap din tanggalin yun. Okay? Ayan. Um, Diana Rose Chu says, I soak mine overnight, tapos madali na linisin with toothbrush. There you go. Thank you for sharing, Diana. There you go. Oh. Ano kaya? Diana mag ano, join us kaya. Go live on stream. Tapos sabihin ka natin. Okay? I really pretty pakita yun ano, yung leash. Can you help me out here, please? And kita mo natin uh si Irene. Thank you for being a darling. At ipapakita lang natin yung leash. Na uh, it's right there. The cabinet. So we can show you your leather leash. Okay. Um, Kiel Garassi says, um, what I do is soak in warm water. It will easily, there you go. Warm water, your magic, magic ingredient that then to clean that. Okay, so, no, you're not plastic. Yeah, that's a different leash. We're, we have a special leash that we're giving away. Yeah. So there you go. All right, so this is a leash that we're giving away. Yeah. I think this is six foot, six, uh, this is a six footer. Or maybe less. I'm not really sure. Pero mahaba rin naman to. This is something that's really comfortable. And I love using leather dishes kasi mas madali siyang hawakan. Okay. Ayan. All right. So there. Um, wala? Walang gustong mag ano? Kumama sa akin? Come on. Ayan. Si-share ko ulit. Yung link. Join me live on air. Kwentuhan tayo. Okay. Yeah, na. So you can click on those uh, on our comment box or you can copy the link on screen para magkwentuhan tayo. Okay. Come on, this is exciting. Can you click it? Gusto Irene? Yes. Close up and see Irene live. Try lang natin. You know what? I haven't done this. Kaya super excited ako. Go, Andrew. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, anybody? Yeah, it's okay. Andrew Hill, who's been very active lately. Start come on. Chat. Anybody? No. Okay. Anyway, so make sure that you follow us on our other social media pages. Um, handle Nathan is Dog Coach Francis. Okay, on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and YouTube. All right. Wow, we have a volunteer here. Let's welcome to the show, Andrew Neri. Let's see. Hello. Andrew. Hi, guys. Hi. Yeah, let me just make sure that you follow us on our other social media pages. Okay. Um, and on Instagram, uh, Facebook. And YouTube. This is her muscle. Right. Wow, we have a volunteer here. This is her muscle. Hi. Her muscle. There you go. Oh, that is your muscle. Hi. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. How are you? Make sure that you follow us on our other social media pages. Okay. Look at this. 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 Can you show us one of those tricks on the practice here? Yeah. Since the puppy class is into the puppy class. Yeah. Hi. Hi. It's, it's feedback. Wait, how do I do this? Hi. 
Hinaan nyo yun na, hinaan nyo muna yung audio nyo. It's just a strong feedback right now. How about that? Can you hear me? Yes, there you are. That sounds better. So I have to silent my, my Facebook one. <laughs> ah, okay. There you go. Hi. Is that Hello. already in the thing niya, no? Yes, uh, he's, uh, I think, 41 kilograms. Two years old. 41. Two years old now. Yes. But when we joined the puppy class, it was dinner? about six months. Six months, yeah. Pasok yeah. na pasok ka ating puppy classes. Yeah. yeah, we're so excited to have the puppy classes ulit. Yung, uh, lang, I think, baka ipagbawal yung mga puppy classes. No? <laughs> yeah. He was one of the misbehaved at the start, remember? Whoa. He was so noisy. <laughs> and how is Hermoso now? He's still, um, I, I would say, very vocal or very uh, expressive. No, he whines a lot if he does not get what he wants. <laughs> mm-hmm. But he, he, whines. <laughs> he whines like if you don't open the door, he whines. And then if he wants to go out, he barks. So at least those are signs of, uh, you know, he wants to do something. But okay. uh, trying to train him not to whine a lot, but uh, it, that's his personality, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Great so at, uh, no, with the presentation, Kanina, what have you tried? I say we, we listed 10. What have you tried to do with your dog? Or maybe you're doing something else that is not included in our slide. We'd like to hear from you. Okay, so I've tried um, incorporating new tricks like every one or two weeks. So right now, I'm trying the sit pretty for this uh, COVID-19. So trying wow. the sit pretty. So uh, actually, Hermoso, uh, he, has, he has now a, a companion, Lupe. So both, both of them, I'm training the sit, sit pretty. And they're, they're doing well, um, but they can, only sta- they can only do it in five seconds. So I'm trying to prolong the duration. Mm. Uh, yeah, but, but uh, slowly, you know, it takes a lot of patience. So I think for about uh, three weeks now, I've been, I've been doing that. Uh, it's, it's hard. But, it uh, is. You have to be consistent, as you taught us to be. So consistent and good job. And to your question, aside, aside from that, um, I, there's a lot of here I haven't done, but the tug I always do to tire them, and then the mm-hmm. play fetch also I always do that every day to tire them before I walk, so that they won't they won't be you know pulling me when I walk. Good. Sometimes there are a lot of cats, and they're very fond of cats. They wanna chase them. <laughs> so before walking, I try to play fetch with them with the ball. So they're a bit, a, a little bit tired, and the the uh, energy is a bit you know, sober down. Um, and then what else? Oh, uh, I I I would love to do number ten, Netflix and treat. I am excited to do that. I'm, I'm gonna do that tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna reward them. I have a big enough TV, so I hope. <laughs> there um, you go. <laughs> But uh, I, I, I watched uh, over this uh, COVID-19 also, I watched this um, dog movie with Harrison Ford, where Harrison Ford died. I forgot. Oh, a dog's then, purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, yeah. and one of the dogs, Lupe, was watching intently because they're dog voices or dog noise. Right. So, yeah, I think that will work. So I'm just trying to convince your muscle to watch as well. So sometimes your muscle <laughs> is a bad dog. <laughs> He does not. Um, he does not watch with us. But yeah, thank right. you for these ten uh, tips, Coach. I'm excited to do the hide and seek. It's just yeah. hard to hide for me because I'm also big. But uh, <laughs> I'm gonna it try that. more challenging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the, the the easy ones. The I tried actually when you were talking, Kanina, the which hand game and the the shell challenge. I'm gonna improve on the shell challenge. Uh, they still don't right. know how. Um, <laughs> Practice yeah. Again, bro. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's a good uh, tip when you mentioned the, you start, you know, slowly putting rewards in all three cups. Mm-hmm. So we'll mm-hmm. Probably be good. good. That. Good. Thank you. Thank you uh, for going uh, live with me tonight. I hope you enjoy the rest of the, the night and I hope you get a lot of success with the shell game and the other tips, especially Dunsa. Number 10, which is Netflix and Treat. I'm pretty sure Hermosa and Lupe would really love you for that. Because they get two tweets. Okay. Oh, by the way, I'm going to try the the, uh, the Kong toy with uh, peanut butter because that was always my problem. 
how to clean it after. So I've never tried it. I only put the uh, treats inside, but they only uh -huh. play with the Kong for like five minutes because it's na agad yung treat, di ba? So, right. so right. I, I want them to play longer so that I can right. have time for myself longer. Anyway, yeah, yeah. would like to thank the uh, the community who shared their experience on how to clean yeah. the Kong. Uh, warm water dough overnight, so uh, yeah. just to take the gunk out. Yeah. Thank you, Coach. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you, Andrew. Bye. You have a good day. A good night. Good night. Bye, Martha. In regards to, to the whole family, keep safe. Thanks. Bye. Uh, bye. There you go. So that was Andrew. Andrew, again, thank you so much for joining us. Anybody else who wants to go online and then share the experience? Uh, maybe, Oliver, are you still with us? Um, so, that's all. Are you still with us? That didn't go out too well. Are you still watching with us? There you go. Maybe you can go live. It's uh, sharing experience. Um, anybody else is uh, watching. But anyway, so uh, we'll be posting this um, on our Facebook and also on our YouTube account. We'll, we might edit some of uh, the stuff lang just to make it shorter. But we really get the gist um into one uh video okay uh Teka. let's check out the uh comment boxes uh Irene dog recommendation I thought so see Oliver again mag ano ka kaya mag join ka Oliver ah mag join ka para makita kita Susunod, sasagot lang ako if they will go on, ano? Go on air. No. Okay. So, okay. Um, any recommended movie? Yung kanina, yun yung mention ni Andrew, yun, A Dog's Purpose. Um, uh, ano pa ba? It's a Netflix, meron yung Benji, and I, I like that. Uh, mapapansin natin kasi sa mga ilang mga Hollywood dog movies, meron halong special effects yung mga ginagawa ng dog. Okay, so... Uh, meron mga iba doon, hindi talaga dog, pero because of CGI, you won't know na CGI pala yun. Um, meron naman doon sa, well, at least from our experience, when Serena and I were working for a teleserie, um, ano pa yun? Uh, lahat ng ginawa ni Serena doon is her, walang CGI. Wala kaming budget para sa, sa CGI. There you go. Um, tapos, Andrew says, I don't post natin yung comment ni... <laughs> Natawa ako dito sa comment. Meron kasing chat, tinex sa amin, are you still with us? Parang spirit of the glass lang ako. <laughs> Mag-online ka kasi, Oliver and Hill. Mag-join kayo. Parang makita natin. Magkwentuhan tayo dito. Okay, so Andrew Neri says, the new movie I watched with Harrison Ford one of the actors is uh, The Call of the Wild. Do we miss so. it? I don't think so. I think we missed that. We haven't seen that. No? But I've been itching to watch uh, The Art of Racing in the Rain. There's uh, Golden Retriever on, and it has to do about racing as well. So that is a uh, double whammy for me. I'm interested in racing in speed, and then dog. So uh, um, I've been wa wanting to read it. I mean, watch it, but it actually is derived from a novel na sabi ni Irene, babasahin daw niya muna. Pero gustong gusto ko nang um, panoorin yun movie. There you go. Ayan, yes, a lot of CGI here, though. Yes. So marami talaga mga doggy movies uh, from Hollywood is CGI. Pero pag tayo ang gumawa, hindi po CGI yon, Okay? Mahal kasi ang CGI. So, kaya nga multi-million dollar ang budget when they create a dog movie. Pero, yun ang isa siguro sa gagawin natin. We're going to be uh, posting or recording reaction videos of different uh, doggy stunts in movies. At least foreign, okay? Kasi kung local, wow. Ayoko naman sitahin yung ibang dog trainers locally. Okay? Kasi susuportahan nga natin sila. And then, uh, syempre, kami, we make our own uh, dog tricks then for movies and film and commercials. 
So, ang, ang i-comment natin is probably from Hollywood. We'll try to see if it's a CGI or baka real dog yun. Makikita mo naman eh. Minsan kasi meron mga ibang stunts ng ginagawa yung dog na sabi mo, ah, teka, imposible na yun. No? Uh, though, I remember meron years ago, meron yung Air Bud. Uh, pwede mo talagang ituro yun. Yung pag-shoot ng bola sa hoop. Yung nga lang, masakit iyon, no? So, baka may daya yun bola sa palagay ko. Okay? Kasi nguso yung pinang, ano, eh, pinang shoot ng ball. So, yun yung air bud. So, I still have to find out the movie and then probably titignan ko yung mga tricks and then we'll make reaction uh, videos based on that. Okay. So, sabi ni uh, Oliver, ah, oh, yeah. yeah. Nagparamdam na siya. <laughs> and then he says, he is he says highly recommended. Alin, alin yung highly recommended? Huh? Uh, Call of the Wind, uh, Wild. Call of the Wild. What about Call of the Wind? Di ba? Pocahontas ba? There you go. All right. So yeah, um, there you go. Um, maybe it's time to end uh, the podcast. We'll see you again soon. Um, and we'll talk to you. We have our weekly um, live podcast at uh, Sunday. So 7 o'clock. So we're going to Every Sunday at 7 p.m. We are going to do a live uh, live podcast. That was uh, on draw. Um, before the... Oh, okay. You know what we're going Every Sunday before we start the podcast will go on live just to draw. Uh, plus, um, a few minutes before we start the program at 7. So we'll, we'll do the draw at around 6.30. That was uh, 7. We go live for our podcast episode. There you go. So thank you so much for everybody who joined us. Um, for everybody who uh, who commented, uh, Darlene, you've been very active. Thank you. Andrew, thank you so much for going on uh live stream with me thank you and everybody else who shared the live stream thank you and we'll see you again soon keep safe and don't forget to pet your dog bye everybody <laughs>